How to use Mi Plus app Mi Plus Daily Planner Tutorial Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be exploring and demonstrating you guys how you will be able to use the Mi Plus app in your everyday life, specifically creating a planner for you to be able to use on your daily routine. So over here right now, we have our Mi Plus app opened over here. There are a few things and few features that we have over here. And so let's get started with our routine section over here. Now, as you can see here, it is currently today and I don't have any task assigned to myself. And it is very important that you assign different tasks for you right now, or like the present and in the future, because you will be able to have some goals. And luckily, you will be able to do that and apply it on multiple days or ahead of time, just like what you're seeing right now. So we could add task for today, for tomorrow, for the Friday or the Saturday. Now we could easily sort our different tasks by time or manual sorting just like that. So for example, I would like to set up a routine for tomorrow that I want to do. Simply click on the plus icon and select the name of the task. So let's say the task is fix the bed. There we go. You can easily change the icon if you want over here. There's a lot of different icons to choose from. The icons aren't really that important, but it can help increase your mood during the day. There we go. Say, let's go with pink. And over here, the time is, let's set a specific time. So of course, I want to do it when I wake up. So let's say I wake up at 7 a.m. So that is the set time that I will be fixing the bed. You could add a reminder over here. Add a reminder, let's say uh, 6.50 so that I have ample amount of time to prepare and wake myself up. There we go. And so it will remind me at 6.50 before 7 a.m. I could add a tag over here and say I want it to be part of the morning routine. There's also workout, clean room, healthy lifestyle over here that you could choose from. But let's go with the morning routine for now. There we go. And then you could add some subtasks if you want. So let's say I want my subtasks to be clean or put blanket in the laundry basket. You could add minor and smaller tasks over here, subtasks, to have more specification on the task or routine that you want to be created for the day or for the day that you want this task to be created. So let's click on create and there we go. Uh, let's give it some rating over here for now. And as you can see, we now have a routine for tomorrow. Now, as you can notice, it's not going to appear on the Friday. But if you click on this, you will be able to check this out if you want. If you could click on the circle over here, it means that you will be able to accomplish or you have accomplished that task already. So over here, let's set up the same thing for Friday. You're going to have to enter the same information, of course, unfortunately but you could do and add specific information that you want. You could be as creative or be as specific as you want. Having tasks over here is really great and you could even um, check out the different tags over here for easy modification or easy organization of your different tasks. So if you click on the circle, uh, you will be able to accomplish it, but of course focus on today. If you click on the discover over here, you will be able to see a lot of templates over here that are already built for us to have. So for example, I want to have a routine plan for studying and I don't really know where to go if I just created on my own over here. I don't really know where to start. So I could easily open a study plan over here, click on a routine that I want and click on add to my routine and you will be able to see here the different daily tasks that is going to be available. So for example, uh, I want to get a daily word plan but I don't want to monitor my status. So I want to just have a daily word plan, practice, and set goals. So let's click on start now. And as you can notice, routine added. So let's go to the routine. And now we have a routine over here specifically built for study. So now you could set goals. So for example, I want to have a goal of accomplishing my task for today. So you could add that. And then after that, you could say, I've done setting my goals for the day. And then you could have your daily word plan. If you'd rather do that, you could do that. And you can also done with practice. And as you can see, it will congratulate you 
for completing your task for the day. You could have as many routines as you want. There's different options over here. So let's say healthy lifestyle. So let's go with this one. Back to school. Add brain routine. Start now. There we go. And if we go to routine, as you can see, there are more tasks that we have over here. These were the previous previous three tasks that we have just accomplished. And now we have all of this over here. You have these tags over here at the top, which makes it easier to navigate and organize. So if I want to focus on the morning routine first, I can simply select that. There we go. Accomplish that. And now if I want to do my task as a healthy lifestyle over here, you could do that as well, just like that. Then you have your fall routine over here as well. So you could do, as you can see, it's going to be available for all the days that are beyond this. As you can see here, we're going to check out April. The different tasks are now available because it's now added to your routine. There's also a library over here where you could put in different information. Like for example, you want to have a reflection with yourself. You could add different information over here. You could check out or add some, let's say, practice gratitude. You could see here it will ask you some series of questions. What do you appreciate like uh, about the things that you own? Let's say I like my laptop. There we go. Happened today and many more. So it's basically just going to ask you a series of questions that would help you realize and have a reflection for yourself. So it has different purposes and different methods. So for example, also we have workout over here. There's also some quick videos over here that would help you work out. So you can easily play a video or two over here. It's like six minutes or 10 minutes over here. There's a lot of options over here, which is also really great. There's also motivations over here. There we go. There's nice uh, chats over here or messages. There's also a hundred ways to make me love myself. There we go. You can check this out as well. You can spin it. And it has a lot of fun features that you could do and explore. And it's basically a great uh, platform or a great application to focus and get your edge. Find your pacing and live a very good life. You can also check out your different statistics over here, which is really great. You have settings. Uh, you can check out what day or what week to start on, your different tasks completed, app language, and all of those uh, information. Or you can also reset your entire routine over here. There we go. And if you check out your routine, we no longer have any over here. It basically deletes all the routines that you have. If accidentally you added something that you don't want or you want to start from, from scratch, you can do that as well. So basically right now, as you can see, we have an empty routine, now perfect for building our own routine. So that's basically it guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.